Hi, my name is Shreya and I'm from the Charter School of Wilmington. Today we'll be making some slime. So these are the supplies we'll be needing today. And here are mine. Okay, great, let's get started. So let's talk about the science behind slime. The thickness of fluids is called viscosity. So the more viscous a substance is, the thicker it is and the slower it flows. Ketchup is more viscous than water, and honey is more viscous than ketchup. Slime has relatively high viscosity because it flows pretty slowly. However, its viscosity is non-constant because it changes based on how hard you pull on it and how much force you exert. Chemical bonds are formed when you mix the glue and the slime activator together. Slime activators, or in our case, contact solution, change the position of the molecules in the glue in a process called cross-linking. A chemical reaction occurs between the glue and the borate ions in the contact solution, and slime is the new substance formed. So the two key words you want to remember are viscosity and cross-linking. So here I'm mixing together our slime and adding a little bit more contact solution because I wanted my slime to be a little bit less sticky. Feel free to add some water to make it more stretchy as well. I'm going to spread my slime out and add some paint. You can use any paint that you have around. I'm going to put some in the middle and basically smooth it over. While we're mixing up our slime, I'm going to be talking about one important woman in black history. Mary Elliott Hill was born in South Mills, North Carolina in 1907 and was one of the earliest African-American women to become a chemist. Hill worked as a chemistry professor and worked with her husband as a team to develop new methods of working with plastics. Mary Elliott Hill started student chapters of the American Chemical Society at some of the historical black colleges and universities she taught at and inspired many students to become professors themselves. Alright, I hope you enjoyed learning a little bit about Mary Hill. So the next step is to add some glitter or whatever you want to your slime. I'm putting some silver glitter in mine, mixing it over the middle, and then slowly folding it um, and adding it in, in increments. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I hope you learned how to make some slime very easily. Uh, you can store the slime in any container you want to. The slime will last you a good bit of time as long as you keep it in an airtight container or a plastic bag that's closed fully. I typically use a Ziploc bag, but you can also use a plastic wrap in your house like this. Thanks for watching guys. See you later. Bye!